The news that online real estate giant Zillow is suspending its home buying program has many people talking about these so-called iBuyer programs. They allow you to sell your home without even going on the market. Zillow's CEO told investors last week that continuing to scale Zillow offers could result in uh, too much earnings and balance sheet volatility. Our real estate expert, Lane Lyon, joins us this morning with some insight on all of this. Lane is realtor and managing broker at Denver's Coldwell Blank, uh, Banker. Uh, good morning, Lane. Gary, good morning to you. Thanks for having me on. You betcha. So Zillow isn't the only company that's buying and flipping houses like this. So what do you think consumers should know when considering, say, I buyer versus a traditional real estate agent? Well, you are exactly right. There are other iBuyer or instant buyer platforms out there. The Wall Street Journal uh, reports that there is another company, in fact, that sold twice as many homes as Zillow the early part of this year. So they're definitely out there. When it comes to consumers, I say it provides options. But I do recommend doing your homework, asking yourself, what is the priority in selling my home? Is it being able to get an offer today and being able to walk away this afternoon? Or is it about going after the highest price that someone is willing to pay for your home? Now, keep in mind, there's always going to be costs associated with selling your home. And the question to, to really look into is, what are the costs for the convenience of an iBuyer cash offer compared to an experienced realtor coming in, knowing the market and the specifics of your home. I like to say, Gary, that houses are like people. We're all different on the inside. So does that data-driven algorithm offer really account for the uniqueness of your home? Maybe, maybe not. Take the time, I say, to, to put those numbers side by side. Take that instant cash offer, put it right up against what an experienced realtor uh, analysis for your home, if you go on the market, is going to look like. Some companies offer both. I'm a fan of that. Do your homework. And really, it comes back to what your motivation is for selling. I guess it's nice that we have the, uh, the options out there. So despite mm -hmm. Zillow uh, discontinuing their eye service, some experts say that businesses like this are here to stay, maybe even grow. Do you, uh, do you agree with that? Well, the technology certainly is here to stay. We've seen that for sure. I am curious, though, to watch this because we know that the real estate market tends to change. Histo uh, history tells us that. So my question that I'm keeping an eye on is what happens when we shift to more of a, a buyer market, when homes are a little bit more challenging to sell? Keep in mind these iBuyer platforms oftentimes turn these homes around and sell them right away. So what are these cash offers going to look like when it's a bit more challenging to sell homes? Time will tell. But I can say, and you disclosed at the beginning, I'm a realtor. I think the traditional realtor model is also here to stay. Zillow, by its own accounting, says that the iBuying programs make up between 1% and 5% of homes being sold right now. So is it moving the needle? Eh, maybe a little bit. But again, it's all about providing options for consumers, which, you know, a little competition is healthy, Gary. I, too, think you're here to stay, Lane. Thank you much. Uh, thanks for having me on. All right. Appreciate it. Take care.